Provo, Utah. The Portland State Vikings, an FCS team out of the Big Sky Conference, taking on the BYU Cougars. Utah ready to kick off. And the 2017 college football season here on ESPN is underway. From a couple yards deep, Khalil Dawson upended at the 13-yard line, and that's where Portland State will begin. Herbo Williams, number 38, who goes in motion. They swing it out to the true freshman. Looked like he wanted to perhaps pass that, but he will run. And known for his speed, he is those swarmed under. In this offense, he came off of his mission to Chile two years ago, three months off the plane when he was the backup quarterback, and Taysom Hill got hurt, and he had to go in and start slinging the ball like crazy. In state. Mangum steps up. That's batted down, incomplete. Eason under pressure, hit in the backfield. He sacks back at the 30-yard line. Him in the pass as well, early. Mangum comes to the near side. A completion to Trey Die out of the backfield. He's up right near the first down marker at the 30. That's the tight end, J.J. Nwigwe there on the right side of the formation. Mangum hands off. Squally Canada. A pretty good head of steam across the 35 to the 30 clock. He gets it off in time. Eason, quick drop under pressure. High pass incomplete. Mangum fakes the handoff to Squally Canada. Fires deep downfield for the tight end. Bushman using that height. And the first catch for the freshman. Summer. He seemed to be catching every deep ball down the middle. I mean, Manga would throw it up there, and somebody would catch it. And when the dust settled, what you saw. In motion comes Neil Pau. Looking in that direction. Caught. Pau breaks a tackle and dives into the end zone. Touchdown. After the catch, certainly gives a spark to this BYU offense. He, this is an, an easy throw and catch, but the fact that he went horizontal with his first move instead of just turning. And the third and two. Gave it up, and it's well read, and dropped for a loss is Summers. Who has the hot hand and who should get the more carries? Megan fires across the middle. He finds Bushman for a first down. Up at the 38, and that's to slow down. Otherwise, that would have been a long pass. Speeding things up again. A pass caught by Hefo, spun down, shy of the 30 for down. Another third and long, a third and 18. Mangum throws underneath. It's shy of the marker, but it's caught at the 43. Portland State, one of five on third down. The freshman quarterback, Eason, deflected, and a couple of times, an incomplete. Mangum on the play fake. Fires complete to the 43-yard line and a first down catch up to the 45, gate at 12 dozen yards. And a first down BYU from their 46. And this handoff, Fanua, Kavika Fanua. About that and a lot of subjects, the three of us had that opportunity yesterday. And he looks to convert on third down and short and does so just beyond the sticks to Micah Simon. BYU with the first down at the 43 of Portland State, Squally Canada. Bounced off one tackle attempt and gains another five yards after that in second down and one. Play fake and Mangum wants to take a shot. He's going towards the end zone in the direction of Shumway. And they're gonna mark him out at the one. Tanner Mangum, his first read was down the middle to number 89. His this time we'll hand it off to Canada who tries to leap in and does so, touchdown Cougars. Parsons on the top of the screen. Fakes the handoff to Summers, touchdown catch, Darnell Adams. Mangum gonna take a deep shot some way, actually that's Trinaman had a hand on it. Punt here, it's better than a turnover to give BYU a short field. Portland State has not turned it over today. Eason is sacked by Sioni. And a quick snap to Eason. Eason now in trouble. And is brought down from behind by Corbin Kafusi. Handsome Teddy Ale. And that's going to take it to the end of the first half. So with help from the penalty, very good starting field position for BYU here in the second half. A handoff to Squally Canada, who tumbles forward to about the left side of the formation is the tight end, J.J. Nwigwe. 
And a run to the outside. Fanua, Kavika Fanua. A flag comes flying back near midfield. He's upended inside the 15 by Artis Manning. Do with the fact that he broke Holding. out. Offense, number three. Here's Hifo in motion. Mangum fires across the middle for Bushman, and the tight end has the catch and the first down. Mangum, quick strike, caught at the 40, well shy of the first down. It was a blitz off the edge. They go for, but it's well defended by Chris Cisse. Eason on third down, a little underthrown and almost picked off. Trey Dye jumps back into the backfield with Mangum. Tanner's pass is caught at the 26-yard line. On 36-yard line. Eason decides to take off. He can run. Can he get a block? Stopped at the 41-yard line. He'll have shut everything down. Quick strike out to Hefo. Tries to get the block on the edge from Trinamon. Rhythm timing West Coast style. Mangum looked right, now goes left, dumps it off. Squally Canada will pick up just about three. That's the third and three call is going to be Mangum underneath in the first down catch and run in the season opener, however. This time hands off to Canada. And Squally squirts through up near the marker. He's going to they spot the ball. They do give him the first down. And give it right back to Squally Canada. <laughs> Advances to the. And eight from the 48 of Portland State to begin quarter number four. Here's a pitch running left. Canada! Squally! They catch up to him at the 15th boat. And Pau up top who scored the first touchdown, but instead right back to Fanua. He's into the end zone, but a flag over on the far side. But Illegal formation. Offense had one last year with a long of 37. It's that away, up and good. And it is now one game, the first game for Jelani Eason. Nowhere for Zaquan Summers that time. Eason fires incomplete a little bit behind Parsons. Canada the first down run for about five. Chris Cotter in the studio. Keep it on the ground with Fanua. Fanua breaks three tackles, gets into the open. Drags a couple of tacklers all the way to the 20. Tyler Foreman being the one. Lines of tempo for BYU. Give it right back to him. Plenty of distance and no good. Eason, too high and picked off. It went off the hands of Riley and Zane Anderson with the pick. That is the first turnover of the game. Try to throw it into traffic, and when you, there's too much traffic underneath, and you got to throw that ball up high. See, that's up high because of the two defenders that are underneath. Out of the hole to Gavin Fowler. This one up and good. Eason in a crowd is sacked. Back at the 23. It was the first two weeks. And then get into big sky play. Hopefully things will really slow down for my team. Summers. Upended the nice open field tackle. The 18-year-old true freshman Easton lets it fly down the near sideline and caught but out of bounds by Andre Petty's Wilson. The Jacksonville State coming up in the 2017 Guardian Credit Union FCS kickoff. Now BYU defense played very well. Offense has some teachable moments. There's some good things that they can do. But if they don't will improve on the edges with their receivers, then they won't score against LSU. If they do, then they'll be all right. So BYU wins it by a score 20 to 6 over Portland State and embrace from Coach Barnum and Coach Satake. And BYU wins the opener. Still have not lost to an FCS opponent in their history. LSU next week for BYU. Should be interesting.
Should be interesting. That should be a good game. And BYU got the win today. Don't let me be too negative. You get the win, you don't have any big injuries, it's good. For Chris Budden, Trevor Banich, and our entire crew, I'm Mark Dealey. Thanks for sharing this one with us. Time for College Football Scoreboard with Chris Cotter. And for now, we say so long from Provo.